Artist Studio, Artist Studio. What the fuck artists do in their studio? They do crazy shit. They look at something they did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and they decide to make certain improvements regardless, regardless if things sold, those particular serious songs sold very well. These are like collages I was screwing around. <coughs> I'm not doing this anymore. So now I'm looking at it, and I see that this cosmic goddess is... I think she was smoking pipe. Yes, the idea was that she was smoking pipe. It's a pinup from 1950s, 60s. And she creates the universe, right? But it became very complicated with all this alien undeciphered writings I don't like. So first I'm going to uh, apply this crazy block as to say the the universe is made out of vibrations i just had this idea because i study quantum mechanics and <coughs> it obviously uh, science has proved that the universe is made out of vibrations so those are subatomic particles they're flying everywhere you know uh, primordial radiation microwave radiation everywhere Shit, I didn't mean this. It's a very expensive frame, $350, 20 years ago, 2003. Because under the glass, there is a work on paper. You see, it's expensive, very expensive. Uh, painting on paper. Uh, what's under the glass is not what you see now. Because at one point, I just didn't care about what I framed a few years earlier. <laughs> so this is why, you know, I say don't frame your paintings because when art collector comes to the gallery, to your studio, when they buy a painting, they will, if they will try to fit it in their living room, they will need um, a frame to match their couch. You understand? The frame is a, some sort of um, visual barrier or sort of you know uh border it, it it can it can make the artwork stand out or go sort of go incognito you understand but contemporary artwork is also exhibited well not works on paper but canvases without any frames you know if somebody has very victorian house with all this antique furniture, they probably will frame it, okay, to match these other paintings, these 600 year old paintings. You know, I have one collector, she owns Rembrandt. No, there was another guy in Palm Beach. Yeah, he was an oil mogul in Palm Beach. And I donated a painting for something, and it was private cocktails in his house, so I was invited. And I'm standing there next to my painting, big painting I donated. And behind my painting is a little portrait by Rembrandt. And I was like shocked. I said, wow, what an interesting situation. <laughs> behind the oil on canvas little portrait uh, about this size. So, artist develops original symbols often from the technology but the technology artist is using such as myself it never existed before it's an experimental so what i'm trying today for instance half an hour ago an hour ago i thought if i take this kind of paper folded like this like smooshed i can pretend those two items to be smushed books with book covers and i can put them under the page when i'm drawing before i even start drawing yeah i'm working on previous drawings put it one and put it two so they look like they're books in the park sort of you know somebody threw away books well this is what i'm hoping and i'm glad you're here and i can clip it and make it secure well, let me try the big clip, and then let's see if it works with a little dirty hand. So you're observing right now the actual process of creating a first experiment, okay? I've never done it before, okay? So you're watching this crazy idea I had an hour ago. I can't even feel them. Okay, I think they need to be thicker. We'll, we'll develop it. Well, the, I was immediately thought about burning books, like civilizations that ever burned books, whatever it was, Alexandria, Germany, 1930s, they always got fucked up. 
they always fucked up. So it starts with burning books and then it ends in genocide. What is this? This is something I developed by myself in the past five years. I put it under the paper and then I have a smaller one, right? And I put it somewhere else. So one of those elements will be the moon and the other one will be the sun. This is a sandpaper and it screws your scissors when you cut it in a circle. But I don't care how many scissors. So theoretically, if I rub my dirty hand on this area, look what's happening. You understand? So there is a shadow of a round object very gently. And I can do the same here with dirty hand. You understand? Just very gentle. Shit, I didn't want to go across like this because it's Aphrodite symbol. Shit, 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 shit. This is Aphrodite symbol, which I carve into this space-time. So before the drawing even begins, I incorporate symbols that this drawing will be about, more or less. More or less. I'll see where the journey takes me. Like, like an hour ago, I was sitting there on Zoom meeting, and AA Zoom meeting, and, in Russian language. I'm a friend of Bill Wilson. 20 years and I struggle to stay sober. I have seven months sobriety now. It's what February, I think. Planet Earth. Okay, this is a trunk, and I never painted a trunk like this. My trunks were always made in the same technique as this Aphrodite, and it was this cosmic trunk with a little heart on it. It's so stupid. To say this is a treasure that needs to be found by a traveler. Some guy, some woman, everyone on this planet needs to find this treasure. If you don't find the secret hermetic treasure we call love, love, yes, ladies and gentlemen, love, like those flowers in the shape of hearts and with a little dick, you know, like in Amazon jungle, those, how do you call them? They're very erotic. My wife loved it so much. It looks like a dick and a vagina at the same time. Like clitoris, basically. I think women love when roses blossom. Roses blossom. Let's draw. Why did I start talking? Why am I so fucking crazy? Started talking about roses blossom. Well, I never did a roses blossom in the middle of fucking Gaia epic shit. Andre, just do what your mind thinks and you will get interesting places. <laughs> okay, so the rose has a vine, right? So this is the vine of the rose. And it doesn't look like rose yet, but we'll get there with razors, okay? You need to know how to draw the fucking rose if you were going to paint or draw cosmic rose. If you were going to draw Aphrodite symbol, you need to understand how symbol is created. What is a symbol? This interesting symbol is on the top of a cup from some medicine. It shows activity. So it shows human hand, bottle, and an arrow going in a specific location. And the second rotation and the second arrow from the top says press it. So you immediately instantaneously understand the action you should be taking by looking at this drawing. What are the elements of this drawing? There are two arrow, arrows, human hand and, and something. So who, why do you understand this? Why you understand arrow? Did you ever ask yourself a question? What is arrow? Arrow, okay. What is arrow? Well, it appears that for millions of years, before humanity, before, you know, you, 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 if you have a dog, you point your finger at something, and the dog goes there. And the same goes for natural instincts in animals. Like one deer that is looking around for wolves, and the others are uh, eating grass, and suddenly, this deer farts or makes some funny noise because he sees wolf. And immediately, everybody is looking to that direction that the deer is looking. So the language of understanding where to look is first an instinct like a monkey see, monkey do. 
understandable. If I'll be looking at the moon, most likely you on the park with me in a dark night will also be looking at the moon. Usually, you understand? Um, so the arrow, this is what people use with their fingers to point where the water is. Water. And then later people design spears, right? And the tip of the spear is a rock, right? So, and then there's the spear specifically attached. Nathertals did it for 500 million years, Homo erectus. Uh, so we don't know how old is the actual mechanism of spear, but that's beyond the point. The tip of the spear became the pointing direction. Just imagine uh, a guy standing there 300,000 years ago, and you're asking him, where is the water? What he does, there's this guy, okay? Here's you, and here's this guy. You're asking, where's the water? So he's going to point... With the spear, no problemo, like this, right? Not to drop the weapon, just in case I wanted to kill him, because that's how people think. So I immediately know, for some reason, the water is here, where he's pointing. So this is why this is the oldest symbol in human civilization, the arrow. And then there are other symbols for water. Why is this symbol for water and why am I drawing it on sky? Doesn't matter. It became a fucking comet. Black, black comet will annihilate all life on this planet. Uh, kill everybody. Kill everybody. Fuck them all. So there's water, right? that this guy is pointing. Well, it's an ocean, so we need to make a, a like a waterfall. Well, we've got some space. So let's make a little mountains like this, right? And let's make this waterfall very erotic because this is what I'm exploring in the past uh, three years. I'm exploring erotic symbolism in nature. And by inspiration from Leonardo da Vinci, when he has those Madonna on the rocks, you <laughs> have all this water rocks looking like dicks you know everybody's looking at jesus but then right there behind the young woman there are dicks and floating floating waters okay leonardo was very smart and he did the same what i was doing and he did achieve what he intended to achieve his mona lisa became a symbol of beauty art profound meaning and enigma. So he was painting that painting, Mona Lisa, for 15 years. It's not a one-month project, you understand? <coughs> so this waterfall is a water I'm asking about, but it's also a symbol of Aphrodite, this goddess. What you just observed just now is a process of talking. In other words, inner conversation about the subject matters I you just heard about. And in the process of talking and doing, it becomes something interesting. It becomes... Uh, 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 it becomes an artwork. So the artwork itself stops ideas, time, vision. And this particular video is a separate artwork. You understand? This video will probably go viral. I always do. But it's beyond the point. Um, it will need a little more work, right? I'm not sure I want to keep it foggy. I'm not sure a volcano should be exploding. I'm not sure there should be clouds here. I think there should be a little clouds going a little over the edge. Uh, the wide, bright edges in a painting or in a in a in a drawing like this much you should be always leaving white first of all because they need to frame it they need to put it under mat when they buy work on paper secondly you will always have a comparative relationship between the brightest point and the darkest point in other words you will know how much is too much and it's probably too late so the characteristic of a drawing technology comparing to painting is such that once you screw up it's very hard to uh, fix it so this is why andrey Boislavsky is the greatest draftsman in the universe ever alive you understand 
I am better than Rembrandt, I am better than Michelangelo, I am better than Leonardo. And everybody else is a piece of shit to begin with. And this is the truth. <laughs>